Well said. Well brought up. Thank you. I haven't participated much in the last two episodes. I'm very tired. I have yeah. no brain power today. Yes, take my money. Ooh. Take my money that should be going towards other people's cars, but instead is going towards my progress. Hmm. I wonder who I'm gonna get. Who who am I gonna get for this area? I got Nina and Crunch. I wonder who who's gonna be my uh, my gunner for the running gun in the the T Rex zone. Land of the dinosaurs. Probably not gonna be good. Lob shots. Gross. Flash damage. Yeah. My favorite. That's why we play a soldier in TF2. You know what though? I'm gonna be on I'm gonna give myself a little bit of credit here. My aim is pretty spot on today. But uh, to a degree. I'm getting some nice some nice lob shots here. Damn, that must have been ages ago. Back when it wasn't milked to hell and back. Yeah. It's always been milked to hell. Let's go. My favorite with that was the whole um, people online, if I remember correctly, were so pissed whenever people had used the grenade launcher because it was an attachment for your base assault rifle. It was one of the first things you could unlock. But because of how generous the splash damage is, and it's, you know, a grenade, all people would cry foul whenever someone, whenever people were killed with a grenade launcher. Ah, yes. The salty, the saltiness. You know what, Ryan? Much. That sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe they should just get better at the game. Just avoid the grenades. Yes, and they were, they were it doesn't count. Doesn't count. You're not good. I love she. You know what? I love the toxic, the toxic behavior of shooting game communities. You want to know what my favorite experience from that is? I was playing TF2 online one day, and I was playing as the medic. I was backed into a corner by two people. So you know what I just started doing? Open firing with my syringe gun. I killed both the people surrounding me, and they kicked me from the lobby. Seriously? I sincerely got kicked for killing as the medic with the syringe gun. Yeah. This is completely off topic from that, but I just saw the funniest ad I think I've ever seen in my life. So you know how, like, a lot of stuff now, the ad, the names on the ads are ridiculous, just because they're trying to get it to appear in as many possible search things as they can. Yeah. So this one starts, uh, uh, like, it looks really cool, to be fair, like, and I would be interested in getting it, because it looks neat, but it's DIY miniature house kit with music box for adult children. <laughs> for adult children. Yes. It's like, ah, yes, the adult children. <laughs> ah, yes, what we call the man-child. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, because they know... It just, it just screams, I'm not being people who know that a lot of people who want to buy some fairly simple, fun things now are adults. As but you they don't want to, like, but they still want to have that little backhanded slap of it, basically saying, oh yes, the man child. <laughs> At this point, we're all aware that the older you, you just get bigger, we, we as people do not grow up. No, it's up sucks. We learned that the hard way. Yeah. I mean, look at Donald Trump. It's a really, I don't know, it's like in the 60s? Probably. 
How many Dominion. crystals do I need? Dominion is six, it is that has me not accepted the fact that you have to grow up. China. You know what I love? The uh, those AI generated voice clips of uh, Barack Obama, Joe Biden, oh and uh, Trump, Trump playing games. Mark was showing us a bunch of them. It was like, it was Pokemon Showdown. Joe, send out your last Pokemon already. Okay, Knock off your leftovers. Oh, okay, was showing one that was mostly playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> It was Trump, yeah, Biden, Biden, Ben Shapiro, and uh, oh, fuck, who else? Oh. Obama, yeah. So fucking funny. Hmm. I think I saw one video. I only saw a little bit of it, but I saw a video of those three playing uh, Dawn of War, the RTS game. Man, I do love, I love some good memes. Hmm. Dank memes cure bad dreams. They might. Well, they get me far in life. I think it's bad it used to be, memes just used to be called jokes before. <laughs> yeah. So last night I was just on um, it was on Facebook, and I saw this. This, this post, it was just, it was the, probably one of the most hilarious roasts I have ever seen. Uh, it was, um, girls, am I fat? Oh my gosh, no, you're beautiful. Guys, bro, am I fat? The other guy, bro, I know five fat people and you're four of them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed way too hard at that for good reasons. And Kate's trying to keep her drink down. I'm sorry, Kate, if I had known you were drinking, I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. That's okay. Also, I just used up all my minigun ammo in the first lap without even realizing it. Oops. Oh well. But yeah, I laughed way too hard at that. Yeah. You gotta learn to laugh at the negatives. At this point, yeah. there's there's so many negatives in the world that if this like if you just if you let the negatives bother you, well then you're just gonna be sad every day for the rest of your life because everything in the world is sad. Kate and I went to see a comedian not too long ago, so Jimmy Carr, he's still, I feel like he's still very popular. He's been doing stand-up for a long time now. And his entire routine is edgy jokes. The jokes that it's like, that's not okay, but like, his entire thing is like, saying shit that isn't okay. <laughs> but yeah. But it was nice it was like he doesn't believe it. Yeah, because it was nice. It was, in the very beginning of the, the show, like he he made some, you know, he made misogynistic jokes. He made some like there were things that in a social context would be very questionable to say. Yeah. But he also said he made a joke about it too. He said that he had to make an apology for uh, something he said, and the person who was kind of making an apology to said, "You don't mean that." It's like, wow, so I can say things I don't mean. <laughs> Basically, saying like. I'll tell you these, basically, yeah, I tell you these jokes, it doesn't mean I agree with them. In fact, that's important. Exactly. It's like, you know what, uh, I'm going to refrain from giving examples simply because we're on camera, but this yeah, is because... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to, look, I, I'm, I, I agree with the, what he said, and I'm not going to list any examples, but that's just an important thing to know. Just don't, like, I think the moral is really, like, you can laugh these kinds of jokes, you don't have to believe them. But also just, but it's also just, like, just don't believe them to be that. Yes. Screw it, what was up? That was Nina. Apparently, she's like, fuck you! Leaving me in the dirt? Fuck you, asshole! <laughs> 
I just got owned on the finish line. I thought I was gonna bypass the finish line beforehand, but no, I just got absolutely played there. Yeah, All right, let me show off. Uh, let me show off two of the one of the two bad guns of this game. He lobs. A Cortex has a similar thing where you, it's a lobber, but it like charges up um, like a energy sphere. I don't like either of them. There's a reason why. Honestly, the weapons in this game really make it clear who to play as and who not to play as. Like, I don't want to touch Cortex and uh, Von Clutch because their weapons kind of suck. But then you got freaking Engine. You know what, I would think for a lot of people, like, they, they have to keep, like, like, pulling, like, traps at least with each, each shot. Yeah. But they seem to disappear after a couple seconds. Little pigs. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Drop submarine on their house. <laughs> You know what I? Uh, you know what? Another one I saw. The, uh, it, everything would be completely different if the wolf just paid the Kool Aid man. <laughs> oh yeah. That break. That'll break a brick w uh, house. Story, <laughs> but. <laughs> the Mexicans when Donald Trump threatened to build the wall. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful with that one. Yeah, well if you say in a way that you know against It's a joke. No, absolutely. The, just the, like the visual is funny. <laughs> it's a joke, just like the wall Trump said he was gonna build. A total joke. I think he actually got like a part of it built, and the people no, actually working in, that, like, working in that area said, "Yeah, good jack shit." <laughs> because a physical wall will not help. <laughs> I feel like, again, Trump's just—he's—he's yeah, he's a very interesting case of stupid. All right, enough politics. I hate politics. I shoot the employee. Uh, there was a chicken. Congratulations on ordering our food. Did you enjoy it? Please give us a good review. If yes, please, if yes, please come again. If no, we never wish to see you again. If no, take a hike. <laughs> if no, please enjoy this purse that we have placed on your first floor child. <laughs> oh, goose. Well, I break your pocket knees, baby. No! He... Quit following me, you go. <laughs> he almost did it. He almost got away with it. For the Bandicoot. Uh -huh. If it wasn't for this Mr. T look-alike. I wouldn't want to be strangled by that. Mm -hmm. I'm a night elf mohawk. I wonder what they did Mr. T and his... I don't remember. I just remember Mr. T. It's the only one you need to remember. I have to curse both of you after. Oh, no. I'm not too sure I curse my after this. Sorry, bud. How about we move on from the dinosaur ages and 
Head out, head out. We got twelve crystals. We can we can ditch this we can ditch this lava stand. I was gonna make a kind of mean joke there, but I'm not going to. Hey, remember that This is world three. So do you remember that cow we launched earlier? At the beginning of the world? Oh. There he is. He really could have. Dude's got a double jump. I don't know what he was doing. The cow has the The cow titties. The mooters? In the middle of the volcano. This Wumpa Whip's warm. Disgusting. There's one of these. Collect our collect our payment from the reset coins, and we're heading out of here. We're getting out of this. We're getting out of this lava pool. Just use these boxes to get up here. Probably should have done to begin with. And then oh, we do this. Give me my limper whip. Give me the give me that sweet double bonus from the, all these boxes. Yo, I got Wumpa Whip. Now I'm stealing double your money. Just trying to imagine someone like shaking down and like crash shaking someone down for money. And then I'm about to hand it over. And it's just like still kind of smoothly. <laughs> double up, bitch. Double, double up. You know what I mean? I sip on juice, you give me double. Alrighty. That's about it for this world. We don't need to come back here. We'll come back to the tracks eventually, because goddamn, we need a lot of crystals. I'm pretty sure the last world's gonna require us to have 20 crystals. Damn it. Alright, I guess I could just go this way. Yes, I will take crystal. I will take Crystal and I will be on my way. Oh, I can tell you right now, we left one behind that was just laying around, but that's because I couldn't reach it. And I'm lazy. So, we'll see you guys next time, where we will be entering Tomb Town.